everybody, Afflicted Gamer here, back with another Division video. It's Friday, it's time for the weekly vendor reset, you know what that means. I'll go from place to place, easy checkpoint to checkpoint, to find out what the best items are for sale this week in the Division. To save you guys the time and the trouble, if the video is helpful in any way, shape, or form, do drop it a like, please. It's very much appreciated, and if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing for more Division content, as I put these out every single Friday. So, double check the terminal as well as the vendor at Camp Clinton, because if you do own one blueprint, it goes across all of your characters, and well, it looks like I own everything that is down here worth picking up. Hey, catch you another time. Yes, sir. Next Friday. All right, exotics for the week. Remember, these stay here. I know there's been a few bugs. People have gotten some out of the exotic caches. You're not supposed to, but hopefully they do fix that. All right, the Historian has 161% headshot damage with Competent and Vicious on it. If you're a fan of the talents and you really want one, go ahead and pick it up, but you will have to optimize it quite a bit. The Pecan has Vicious again, 20% damage targets out of cover. The score is low. You could reroll commanding for something else and make use out of that if you really wanted to, but again, you have to optimize it, so I would pass. The Centurion, Expert and Talented. If you are running a Liberator, and you want to run the Free Republic talent with the two, these combination here, you could pick it up. Other than that, I would honestly just pass. In terms of shotguns, Tactical Super 90 is here, 344% stagger, destructive, swift, and unforgiving. You could reroll swift for something else and you have yourself a very nice Tactical Super 90. Other than that, the regular gear that is down here, there's nothing too special at all this week. The Rapid Chestplate. I would only get it if you are a huge fan of Rapid and you just cannot seem to get one in the open world because you will have to optimize this. Luckily enough, it is rolled to electronics, health, enemy armor damage, and ammo capacity, so it's set up for PvE quite nicely. Inventive Backpack, again, only if you are absolutely desperate because it has health on it as the major attribute instead of skill power. 1161 firearms, which you would have to throw into electronics and burn resistance in the miner. So that's kind of unfortunate. But if you do scroll down, there is an SR7 suppressor. If you don't have a better one, grab a few of these for now if you have the credits to waste. 16% credit damage, 3% credit chance, 6% headshot damage, and reduced threat. So that is everything for downstairs. Let's move on. All right, come on up to the armory, and there is a treat here, especially if you're new to the division. Lightweight M4, 22% enemy armor damage, talented, responsive, ferocious. You could reroll talented for something else and have yourself a fantastic PVE lightweight M4, which, believe it or not, this is exactly how I wanted one set up and could not get the rolls. There you go. Don't pass that up if you uh, need one for PVE, for sure. All right, if you come on up to the cavern, safe house, the third week in a row, I cannot believe it. Damage to elite, so if you didn't get the one from three weeks ago, we once again have firearms, 191 firearms, 3% damage to elites, a lot better than the firearms one from last week, so go ahead and replace those with these. Okay, next, moving on up to Autumn's Hope Safe House. She has one item for sale here, a definite must-buy for anybody running a skill build. Prototype Electronics Mod, 266 electronics. That's almost a max roll, 3,167 skill power. Do not pass this up. Next up, make your way over to the firewall. Safe House, she, or sorry, he has one item for sale here. And that is a prototype performance mod. Anybody that's running a defense set, go ahead and pick this up. 5% ballistic shield damage resilience mod. No worries. Come back another time. Will do. All right, the next item is down at the South Paw Safe House. Once again, there is one item for sale here. Again, prototype performance mod, 4% sticky bomb damage. 4% is a max roll. So go ahead and grab a few of these and throw them on your build. Power. Hey, I'll see you around. See you around, bro. See, light zone, you, you guys are polite. Wait till I get to the dark zone. I can only imagine. Okay, down at the ward safe house. My god, finally. Damage to elites mod, but this time we have stamina and it's over 200. 204 stamina, 3% damage to elites. Much better than the one that we had last week. Sock up on these. I know 4% is a max roll, but if you don't have 4%, the fact that this is over 200... Grab a bunch, grab as many as you can. 
Okay, and now making our way into the dark zone. That was everything for the light zone, which I must say was not disappointing whatsoever. On your way up to West 46th Street, there is one item for sale up here. And that is this prototype stamina mod, 267 stamina, max roll with 3% skill haste. Don't pass these up. Serious inquiries only next time. I told the guy at Southpaw you guys were pricks out here. Hmm. Alright, and for the final stop of the week, up at the East 58th Street DZ checkpoint, there wasn't a lot for sale in the dark zone, but... You know what, overall I think that this wasn't a bad week whatsoever for the Division. The final item is a specialized backpack for those of you that are a fan of this. I know there's still quite a few of the, you out there. 1124 stamina with over 13,000 skill power as a major attribute and ammo capacity in the minor. So go ahead and reroll that 1124 stamina and you're good to go with this backpack. Optimize it a little bit and there you have it. So, anyways, those were the best items for sale this week in the division. Like I just said, I think they were pretty good overall. The M4, the electronics mod, damage to elites mods, pretty good stuff. So, hopefully the video was helpful. If it was, please don't forget to help me out just by rating and simply sharing the video. It makes a huge difference, and I am grateful for it. Follow me on Twitter at AfflictedGamer, and the stream times for me to be live here on YouTube are at the end of the video. Until then, enjoy the rest of Blackout Agents while it's still here. Get the items that you need, and I'll see you soon in the next video.